John Carpenter's Vampires is a vampire western film. Jack Crow is a badass with a crew of vampire killers. After his crew is slaughtered by a vampire, the Vatican recruits Jack to find a relic that if stolen by the vampires, will grant them eternal life even in the daylight. The film stars James Wood and Daniel Baldwin. Howdy folks, welcome back to Garage Vampirethon, where every day for the month of October we revisit a vampire movie. Riding off the coattails of From Dusk Till Dawn, we got John Carpenter's Vampires, which is not regarded as one of John Carpenter's greatest films by any means. John Carpenter is one of the craziest directors out there. He has such a crazy rich catalog of films. The original Halloween movie, They Live, The Thing, Christine... So many great flicks. We talked about Christine on our last marathon when I did the Stephen Kingathon, so go check that one out. I think that's one of his best movies. But yeah, here we have Vampires, which is a very inconsistent movie. It's got some really high highs and <laughs> some low lows. Really wild opening to this movie. You have this crew of crazy vampire killers. Kind of feels like a frat boy or a really unhinged military crew. And they're going into this abandoned shack to kill some vampires. They have a really interesting technique to kill vampires. They hook the vampires with a crossbow. And then they lynch them outside and let them burn in the sunlight. Oh lord. That was some pretty creative thinking from John Carpenter, if I do say so myself. After they kill a bunch of vampires, they go to the nearest motel, rent it out, get a couple of strippers and hookers, get a couple of brewskis around, maybe a little of the old Mary J. They just have a fun time. I had them last night. And the priest is there and is like, thank you guys. That was a really good sequence as well. Then a vampire fucking arrives in the hotel room and butchers everyone. Everyone gets fucking slaughtered in this movie in the most gruesome fashion ever. And it's very, very fun to watch. <laughs> This movie kind of reminded me of They Live, where it's like this very macho, toxic group of men. Uh, you got guns and strippers and all that stuff, and it really made for a fun time, in my opinion. And I ultimately like the world that's created in here, what they do with the vampire mythology. I kind of like that the fact that the Vatican is kind of like MI6. It gave me a Men in Black feel, but somehow, like, the Vatican was the one recruiting James Woods. Which, let's talk about James Woods for a second. He's not great in this movie, but it's such a weird performance. If I had to compare it to something, I remember watching the Wizard of Oz movie directed by Sam Raimi with James Franco. And I remember thinking, James Franco, that guy sucks so much in this movie, he somehow ends up being good. James Woods in this movie is kind of the same thing. He's supposed to be Kurt Russell. This is supposed to be Snake Plissken, or whatever his character was in Big Trouble in Little China. But it's just not working, and James Woods is just so not cool. He kind of acts like as if your best friend's dad is trying to be cool, but it's just not working. But it somehow works in this movie. You have any idea how this Valak knows my name? And that's kind of the overall theme of this movie to me. It's so not cool, it's cool. Comparing this to From Dusk Till Dawn, From Dusk Till Dawn was so uncool, it was kind of cringe at times, it kind of has like an outdated cool style. This movie, it's so uncool that it ends up being kind of funny. I don't know if John Carpenter was in on the joke or not. I like to think he was. That's what kind of worked for me in this movie, it was kind of that irony. What didn't work for me is the story itself is so slow. First act is marvelous. 
You got me hooked. Final act, good job. That middle. Ugh. And I wanted to like this movie, you know? This is the, my first time watching it. But yeah, it was just like, bleh. that middle is nothing going on. The only two who end up surviving are James Woods and Daniel Baldwin. And you have a, a third character in this who's along for the ride. She's played by the girl from uh, Twin Peaks. She's L uh, Laura Palmer. She's bitten by a vampire, and James Woods use, uses her as a way to lure the antagonist of this film. And it was just boring, you know? There wasn't that gory action that was promised in the first act of the film. And the antagonist was pretty weak in this. You know, you think of Halloween, you got Michael Myers, you know? Or you think of Christine, it's just like a fucking car is somehow so terrifying. Or the thing, it's like John Carpenter knows how to write antagonists without necessarily giving them much to do. The thing is just, you don't even know what the thing looks like. Halloween is just the shape, that's the name of the antagonist in this. Here the antagonist is just like boring, generic bad guy. And the problem is, there's movies that do what this movie is doing, but better. If I want to watch a vampire western, I'll watch Near Dark. If I want to watch a vampire crime movie with a bunch of toxic males being cool and fucking strippers and shit, I'll watch From Dust Till Dawn, even though I don't think it's a perfect movie or a good movie by any means, I'd rather watch From Dust Till Dawn over this movie. This movie has a really convoluted plot, antagonist is boring, especially, the plot especially gets convoluted when the Vatican ends up being the bad guys, there's like this whole twist ending that happens when you're not really in for it because you're so lost in this movie at that point when it happens, but yeah, you watch this movie for that first chunk, and you watch it for the odd James Woods performance. You're being such a fucking asshole. The fuck is your problem? You're not starting to fall for this half dead little hole. Other than that, there's no reason to watch this movie. It's kind of just not the best. So many better John Carpenter movies. Escape from New York. I didn't even mention Escape from New York. Come on, guys. And of course, Big Trouble in Little China. Guys, have you seen John Carpenter's Vampires? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys around for more Garage Vampire Thon. John Carpenter's Vampires. You never told me they could do that. I didn't know they could do that.